this is where we're going to lock our butter block into our dough for our puff pastry. Um, I have my butter block right here, beautiful, and I have my dough that I made ahead of time. I like to make the dough, then the butter block. Uh, I have a bench brush, which with laminated dough is the most important thing you can use because we're going to make sure we're not sticking to the bench and that we can do all of the work that we want to do properly. Uh, but we're going to dust all the flour off every single time. You can't forget about it because you'll get a layer of dough, butter, dough, flour. And we don't want that flour uh, as a part of our dough at all, but we also want to use it to our benefit. So I have a regular ball bearing rolling pin. I have my yardstick. And so the first thing we're going to do is lock the dough in. And we have sometimes a tendency to get confused with this kind of method uh, to do the lamination. But first, we've got to get our uh, butter block into that dough. So our butter block is a 10 by 10. What I want to be able to do is um, put it on the diagonal. And so I need a square that's probably about 13 and a half by, or, or maybe 14 in that general area. And so I'm going to roll a square. And you are going to use your pin your hands, your bench knife, to create a really nice square out of this dough. And we're going to roll it, like I said, it's nice and extensible, which I like. We're not rolling it to the largest size and do a lamination yet, because this is called our lock-in. We're locking in our butter. Whoop, come here, mister. Mister, mister. Right. I want to make sure I'm not sticking and that I'm squared off each time. I want this butter block to drop right onto the inside of this dough as a perfect square. And so I want what I want it to be able to do is to lay right on the interior, just like that. So I'm a little tall up here, and I'm a little short in this direction. So I'm going to give myself a little width, and then I'm going to square myself off. And I think I'm pretty much there. I'm going to use my bench knife, and I want to stick to the bench. I'm going to make a little package. I'm going to get a little bit more. Just a little extra solid, solid there. All right. So I'm going to get this butter block out. Peel it right off of here. And it's beautiful. And I'm going to be the master of my dough. Come here. There we are. Ah, thing of beauty. And I'm going to rework it. I don't want to waste it very gently by Vanny Butter. Save it, cost you money. You want your guests or your customers to have that butter, not the parchment paper. So I'm gonna move this butter block, I'm gonna straighten it out. And I'm a little long here, so I'm gonna come in, and I'm gonna move my dough. I'm gonna bring it back up, because I don't want any dough laying over dough, I want every bit of dough to hit butter. It's super important. That's how we're doing our lock-in. So here I'm going to I'm just going to take care of some business there. So then what we're going to do is we're literally going to pull it up corner to corner so my butter's on a diagonal so I can wrap it. And then my uh, classical uh, term for this is smooshing the dough together. We're going to come in and we're just going to drop it together. Same idea here. The dough has a nice extensibility. I'm going to come all the way down to the ends. A little bit of butter shows as we're laminating, we're going to use our barred flour, and that's going to be, you can see, so it's a nice tight little package. At no point does any dough just hit dough. So this is called the lock I'll show you what I'm looking for, and I need to put some flour underneath myself. So there I am. I have my butter inside my dough. And done very nicely. Here we go. We're going to make sure, be generous with the flour don't want any lamination left on the bench. We want it all to be a part of, and I move my dough through this whole rolling process. I make sure I go right where I want to be. I'm going to roll 18 by 24. It's going to be our first lock-in. And like I said, I have my bench brush. I'm not ready to brush any flour off, but I will when I do my first lock-in. So I want to make sure I have flour on everything. And like I said, I don't want to leave any dough. We don't want to roll down on the edges of our dough. We really want to come off of it because we don't want to smash the butter into the dough. We want to create the flakes. And we're doing that by laminating. So we're going to do it with intention, but with love. So nice and gently. The dough is super extensible right now, so I really don't have to, have to be too hard on it. If you get little bubbles, 
they will work themselves out. And I want to say a rectangle, and you're going to do that by using your pin as a tool. And I have my yardstick handy, and then if I want to, I can move myself around. I can use my bench knife to square myself up. Okay, helps a lot. Bench knife. Let's see, look at that. some length because I'm going to go 24 inches long in a rectangle and 18 inches wide. And if I have a spot, I'm going to use the end of my pin to kind of do some of the work for me. And I'm going to let it, you know, gluten's going to stretch itself around and stretch itself back. Let's see where I'm at. I'm at 21 by 16 and I'm going 18 by 24. So I need to know I need to go, and I'm a little thicker on this side because that's the way I roll. And so I'm going to come in here, and give myself a little length, and as it relaxes, it really has a tendency to do everything I want it to do. And you can see the whole time I'm moving it on my bench. I'm going to let it snap itself back, and I'm going to use my bench knife to square myself off. spot on. I just need a little more length. So instead of going this direction, which ergonomically is not where I want to be, I'm going to go this direction. I'm going to give myself a little thicker here. This I'm hoping. Ah, there I am. That's exactly where I want to be. We're going to do a book fold. Three different kinds. There's different kind of folds. Three folds, book folds. All right, I'm going to square myself off. I'm going to come in here. Where I want to be. I want it nice and square because I want this to laminate and I want the same dough to laminate on top of the same dough. So let's see where I'm at. Perfect. Did a very good job. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dust my flour off. So important. A book fold is just like a book. We're going to fold in the middle and fold over. So I'm going to come right here, fold myself over myself over as evenly as I can be and I don't want any part that dough doesn't touch dough at that point. This is called the lamination. This is the first turn. We're going to do this book fold four different times and this is going to be our first. So then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to fold it together. You can see how pretty perfect it is. I have a sheet pan. I'm going to take this dough just like this I'm going to bag and tag it. I'm going to let it rest for 30 minutes. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. We're going to do another lamination for all day. This is our first of four total. And what you do is you come in and you just press the dough, a little love, a little, little mark. shows that you've done one turn. It keeps track of the turns for you. This is how we cut our croissants. We're going to cut them by hand because I just like that better. We have croissant cutters. Not my favorite. So I have my dough that's come out of the wok and I had kind of had to degas it a little bit. I'm going to come in, I want to roll this 18 by 20. That's the size I'm looking for in my, show you what I'm going for and how I'm going to cut. I got my bench brush because I know I'm going to have to take flour off. You want to make sure you got lots of good flour on these guys because you don't want them to stick to the bench. You've gone to all this trouble to make a beautiful dough. You want to make sure you're not sticking. No sticking. The yardstick is a handy dandy guide as well. So I'm going 18 by 20 is what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go a little wider and then I'm going to go a little longer. Making sure the whole time I'm not sticking to this bench. You can pull extra dough on there. I'm going to let it snap back and do its thing. Fourteen. What did I say? Eighteen by twenty. Correct. Length there. 
these are classical croissants. See, I'm a little sticky there. Move that bad boy over there. Grab a little flour, square myself up. Need to go a little wider. Like I said, we're cutting these by hand. stop it here so I just don't bore you to death and I'm going to come back when I get 18 by 20 because I'm just going to take my time let the dough snap back every time and bring it to 18 by 20 and then I'm going to show you how we cut it so give me a minute 